in the south of Sweden, protected by the island of Uland, is located one of the best preserved Renaissance castles in Europe, Kalmar Slot. Typical striking towers of Vasa times characterize the appearance of this magnificent site. Located strategically on the banks of Kalmarsund, one of the most important shipping lanes in the Baltic Sea. Kalmar Castle towers regally from its own island and is only accessible from the mainland via a bridge. The history of this site started long ago. When Kalmar became a commercial city during Knut Eriksson's reign, a first defensive tower was built, the Kastal. Several castala on the Baltic coast formed a system of defence and in the early 13th century, Kalmar city had a monastery and a circular wall. At the end of the 13th century, King Magnus Ladulas had a well-defended circular wall with four towers built around the castal. The strongest section of the castle the guard tower on the western wall was the main entrance to the courtyard. The castle had played a significant role in Sweden's history. In the 14th century, the union of Sweden Norway and Denmark was established. Then followed years of unrest and siege. Eventually, Gustav Eriksson Vasa restored independence to the country and was finally elected King of Sweden in 1523. A long vault leads through a ring fort and wall into the inner castle's courtyard. At the time of Gustav Vasa, Castle Kalmar was rebuilt and extended, with a portal built of limestone decorated with pillars and Sweden's imperial crest. An eight meter deep well was dug with a superstructure designed by Dominicus Parr with one of the most beautiful fountains of the Northern Renaissance. The medieval buildings were partly demolished and replaced with new ones, plus royal apartments and all the flair of the 16th century. But neither Gustav Vasa nor his successor, Eric XIV, managed to create a fully cohesive structure. It was only under Johann III that it was made into a single building. A stone staircase leads to the first floor, Queen's Hall with tapestries, a painted door frame and bed. Magnificently decorated and the original furnishings. Next, the panelled room. 
richly decorated with wood panelling and gilded coffered ceiling. It is estimated that 17 different types of wood were used. The king and queen are depicted in front of the fireplace. Originally, the grey room consisted of two rooms, which Johann combined into a large dining room, a place of regal dining. A table is laid according to the opulent splendour of those times. At the time of construction of this section of the palace, the Golden Hall was called the New King Chamber. Here, Johann III added his own touch. The King's Reception Hall, with paintings, gilded coffered ceiling, and a red canopied throne and fine royal crest. A small side chamber is thought to have been Agde Persdottir's bedroom, the concubine of Eric XIV who bore him three daughters. The King Chamber is located in the medieval 13th century King Tower, the bedchamber of King Eric XIV. The walls and ceilings are beautifully panelled and include hunting scenes in painted stucco. On the ground floor, there are three rooms which served as a women's prison in the 19th century. In the 16th century, there was also a pantry as well as a school. The benches on which the women prisoners slept are still present. In the long chamber, it looks as if the artisans had only recently abandoned their work. With scaffolds, brushes and paint pots. In 1642, the biggest hall was severely damaged by fire and Eric's beautiful horse was depicted in an adjoining passageway. In 1592, the castle church was completed, with a curved brick arch and a south wall that forms part of the medieval city wall. On the walls, there are paintings of coloured sandstone and quotations from the Bible. On the north side in Swedish, on the south side in Latin. Although Kalmar Slot withstood 24 sieges, it still retains all the splendour of former times.